Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now I've made a couple changes since the uh, last part. I've uh, removed the Natural Town Growth mod. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, a little too aggressive on its uh, town growth uh, effects, as you can see here. Uh, at least for this map, it's a little too aggressive because the towns are close together. So even with it removed, and I manually dropped the uh, target populations for the existing towns back to something a little bit saner. So I imagine uh, over time, some of this uh, development might actually reduce. Uh, but uh, that's fine. I also spent a little bit of time uh, adjusting uh, public trans transport in those towns. But as you can see, traffic is still pretty much horrible, right? Uh, but I'm not going to mess with that on camera here. I'm going to pretty much ignore that corner. Now, I'm not sure uh, how much longer I can uh, play this map. Because it's already down to the point where maximum speed doesn't do anything. Uh, I saved it on maximum speed when I reloaded. It was on medium speed, so that means that it doesn't think it can keep up with maximum speed. And I can say with certainty that it currently can't. Now, uh, I added trains to each of these uh, farms that we connected up last time. Uh, bringing them down to the uh, food thing here. Uh, Florin is uh, accepting food. Um, the uh, farm is... Uh, Sort of, kind of, getting to the point where it might maybe upgrade at some point. <laughs> um, so Florin would need to uh, grow some more for that to happen. Uh, it's already over population, so uh, yeah. I could set up some public transit down here, and that would encourage the towns to grow a bit more. Uh, I'm not going to touch this for the moment. I'm going to let that bed in for a while. And that's a really long route, so yeah. Anyway, the project for today, I was looking around and I see that there's an oil refinery up here, there's a fuel refinery over here, and a source of oil over here. And uh, both New New York and Metropolis demand fuel, as does Pork Belly, which means... I could get, uh, I should be able to get a good demand for the uh, fuel refinery here. So that's the project. I'm going to connect this up. Now, looking at this, it seems like the, if we put the ugly on, it looks like the smartest way is to come around this way through the gap up to the uh, oil uh, refinery and then bring it back down along the same path uh, and around Metropolis through here to the uh, fuel refinery. And then I'll probably use trucks for uh, delivering to New New York and Metropolis and maybe a train back to Pork Belly. Uh, right, so uh, that pretty much uh, eliminates the uh, the the uh, worst part of the planning so let's just get stuck in here uh, so we need one of these which is going to uh, go over well uh, actually let's make the <laughs> game full screen first yeah occasionally I forget to do that yeah oh, okay so uh, we'll uh, not put catenary on here so we'll chuck that in uh, we'll need a single platform here uh, initially, so we'll put a single platform in here. The other one will run the same train back again to the uh, fuel refinery, which we'll need uh, certainly just the one initially, and then it'll go back up here and then uh, then I'll decide what to do from there right 
Uh, okay, so let's uh, just go in here. That's a Metropolis oil well. So that's going to be the Metropolis oil well. Yep. This is the Pork Belly Oil Refinery. So that's going to be the Pork Belly Oil Refinery. Yeah. Uh, and this here is the new New York Fuel Refinery. Well, guess what this will be? It's a good idea to uh, name your uh, stations like this so you can figure out what you're looking at. Now, uh, I'm going to start by building the track from here to here. Uh, so let's put the ugly back on, right? And then we'll uh, grab some track like this. And uh, yeah, see this area here is pretty much flat, okay? Uh, so I can uh, just uh, pop this out like this and just make sure it's flat. It's not exactly flat, but it's close enough. Uh, so I can do this. Now I need to go around, I need to go through this gap here, right? So I'll do that. Uh, just like this. Yep. Just like that. And I got catenary on. So, keep. And now we'll go in here and fix that. Uh, there's a good reason for not having it on the lines you don't need it on. Uh, the big reason for that is uh, uh, each catenary pole... Uh, is an object to render and it does slow things down uh, okay now here uh, I'm going to break the road and build a bridge okay uh, now I need to bend around here uh, you know these are probably in the way so I'll take those out too and now we uh, we go in here and we bring this around and we can get it around at a at the 120 so we'll do that no point slowing the trains down needlessly even though these freight trains running with a gp9 are only going to do 105 at best and then we go around toward the uh the gap okay and we'll call that what the pork belly gap or something now, uh, we'll come out of here and uh, go into the uh, roads business here. Uh, and then we'll, we'll do this. Uh, we will build a bridge. All right. Um, what, uh, what bridge? Um, how's that look? Yeah, we'll go with the stone bridge. Uh, stone bridge is actually not ugly, so... And we'll do that. And, you know, while I'm at it, I'll upgrade that. Because that will uh, improve traffic flow between Metropolis and Emerald City. Uh, and by doing that, uh, Metropolis will get a some bonus to its growth, right? Uh, now we'll go back in here and, uh, oh yeah, put this back on. Uh, and then we need to come back around through this thing. Uh, just like this. Uh, you know, I should practice a Bob Ross style uh, narration voice or something. Uh, you know, uh, and then I could talk about uh, all the uh, the happy little trees. Uh, but I don't think I could pull it off, really, so maybe not. Uh, okay. Well, this is going to be one of the easiest rail lines I've uh, put in. Um, right. Okay. So that's going to be... That's going to be that, yep. Now, I need to also 
Uh, bring a track out of here. Yeah. You know what? That's fine. Uh, now, I am dual tracking this because I have a suspicion that I'll end up needing to run two or maybe three trains on this just because of the distances. Now, if I go here, this is going to have to come around this way, and that's going to be slower, right? Um, what I'm going to do, though, uh, I should be able to... Uh, I can turn the ugly off now. Uh, I should be able to bring it off like this, because this should be level. Uh, yeah, that should be level, so I should be able to do a nice Y split like this. Now let's see uh, how that uh, that looks. Looks okay. <clears throat> um, okay, so I'm going to need to do that. I'm going to back that up. I might need to come around closer that way. I want to keep the speed up as close to uh, yeah, actually, for a 105 uh, engine, that would be uh, plenty fast enough, 106. Okay. Uh, so that means that I can go up that way. Yeah, that'll work. I connected that on the wrong side. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's try that again. Connected on the correct side. Yep. This comes around up to here. Now, I need one more, which comes in through here. Okay. And I think I can do another uh, Y split here, like this. Maybe I can come back here and do it. Um, yeah, yeah, that uh, that should be fine. And that looks, I think that looks okay. So if I do this, yeah, that's uh, tolerable. Okay. Uh, bring this around. This will make uh, connecting up this farm interesting, won't it? Uh, right, so I'll come along straight through here. Right. And then I'm going to need a... Uh, a Y split here. Right at the station, I think, is... Uh, the place to do it. Uh, so I could bring it off here. Maybe? No. We gotta take it off where the uh, tracks have already split the full width. Whoops. Uh, okay, so about here. Um, okay. That's probably fine there. Uh, level that. And uh, bring that off there. Yep. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. And again, I'll uh, take this out. Okay. Now I'll connect the track. You can come up here. Yep. Again, I'll reconnect that with a uh, paved country road and a bridge. Um, right. Uh, where is it? Under roads. Yeah, you're going to find the road thing under roads. I mean, who knew? Um, right. If I uh, do this, right. Uh, I think that will connect better. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, good. Now I've got a road that I can 
attach to. Uh, we'll do this. I'm going to come up out of here. Uh, let's uh, do this straight. Uh, like this. Yep. Well, that will do there. Take those out, and then I can make those uh, proper uh, ramps. Uh, okay. Road. Do this. Yep. Now, I can do this. There we go. We got the uh, connection re-established. Main Street to Main Street, basically. Uh, good. Now, what I need to do is set up the uh, train route. Um, where, where do I have a... Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to uh, chuck some... Uh, whoops. I'm going to chuck some uh, signals on here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to need one of those there. One there. One there. One there. Yeah. And we'll definitely need uh, one here and one here. Yep. Um, and over here also need definitely signals here. Yeah. And I need one over here. That's the absolute minimum I need. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll uh, chuck a couple more in here. Yeah. Chuck a couple along here. Uh, yeah. And I think I need a couple along here. Just a couple, though. There we go. And I think I need one in here. Yeah, I think that should be good. Now I need to chuck a uh, uh, a depot or something in here. Um, where? Well, I think perhaps I should chuck it in maybe over here. Yeah, I'll chuck it in over here. So I can stick it there, and I can do this. Yeah, and that'll get uh, trains going the right direction to get here. Right, so now all I need to do is uh, chuck a train at this. Yeah, I know. Uh, so we're going to buy a train. Uh, it will go diesel, obviously. Um, now the GP9 is 1305 kilowatts, 288 kilonewtons, and it's probably about, about the best of them, really, other than the Alco, um, which is more expensive to run. So I'll grab this, right, and then we're going to need tankers. Uh, so that one is 30 tons. That one is 20 tons, but it's longer. Hmm. Well, this is a relatively flat line, so if I do this one... Yeah, if we put a capacity of 180 on here... Um, let's just see. That's 17 million. We've got 17 million. So let's just, uh, chuck it on a line. So it's gonna, uh, I'm gonna pause it, uh, cause let's just ride the train. So we'll go there, to there, to there. Yep, that will, uh, definitely do that. So this is, uh, rail cargo. Uh... Metropolis, oil, 
well uh, to pork belly oil refinery to new new york fuel refinery okay now let's just take a ride come on there we go we got the train uh okay now let's just uh take a take a gander at all of this and after the ride i might just uh chuck a couple of uh delivery lines in uh by truck and uh, that should allow everything to uh, tick along now you can see there's a little bit of uh, stuttering here even at this speed so that's why I'm possibly thinking that uh, I might need to either demolish those other towns and seriously reset them or uh, go ahead and uh, Re uh, do a different map with fewer towns. Uh, well, we'll see. Or maybe buy a new computer. You know, that would do it too. Uh, like my computer is not a potato by any stretch, but it's uh, some number of years old. So I'm sure I could get something with a lot more performance. And contrary to what a lot of the complainers are always on about with uh, with the uh, the game. Uh, Transport Fever 2 does use all cores, or at least it's using all four cores on uh, on my uh, on my system, uh, and it runs them hard. So it's not that it doesn't use multiple cores. Uh, so if it's not, it's probably an operating system thing. You see, we got some tearing there too. Um, that might uh, or might not show up in the video. Uh, I know that uh, some amount of the performance is eroded by uh, recording the, the game while I'm playing it, too. Yeah, I'm not sure it's showing up in the uh, video. Uh, hard to tell, though, on the preview. Um, uh, no, it's showing up. Yeah, it's definitely showing up. At least on my preview. Okay, so we get here. And we grab uh, some uh, crude oil, uh, which we have waiting, so go figure. As we look at a cliff face, which really isn't so unrealistic to be looking at a cliff face at the end of a line. And we're going to take 79. Okay. Uh, so the question is, how many are waiting when it gets back around after the first uh, delivery? Because that'll be the full amount. Uh, so that'll de determine if we need two trains or uh, a longer train. I think it'd be better to run two trains because that increases the frequency. Okay, and we'll just uh, trundle on straight through here. It's kind of nice that the uh, uh, circulation around this uh, setup is uh, such that it doesn't uh, conflict. Uh, I could get away with single tracks here, but I think two double tracks look better. And I'm going to need to connect up that farm back there, so I'll need the two tracks along here because I think I'll... Uh, uh, I might drop it back to a single track, but no, I think I'm going to leave it double track. Uh, just, uh, just because, you know, I might, I might run something else along here. I might not, but as I said, I think it looks better. And maybe I'll uh, change some things so that I'm running the trains uh, point to point or something like that. Probably not. Uh, But I could single track these. Um, yeah, I could. But what's I you know, like? I've got enough money coming in that it doesn't matter, right? So, uh, you know, something I could do to improve the performance. I could go on a defoliation campaign and get rid of a bunch of these trees. You know, that would make a difference.
they look so nice just standing around there, but, you know, I could get rid of them. Could adjust the graphic settings, too. That might help. I do kind of like the skybox on, uh, on this, uh, like, the clouds are, uh, they look... I, 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 I'm pretty sure they took a picture of an actual sky and used that for the skybox. Uh... Because those clouds look quite, uh, quite realistic. Uh, like some sort of a sky that I might have seen myself at some point. Although it does look funny when you're looking at the edge of the map and you have a mountain cut off with a knife there like that. Okay, here we go. We've unloaded our crude. And we're going to take one uh, refined oil with us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's hilarious. Uh, and then we'll come along, we'll go, go along the other side of... Oh, look at, the, like, that, uh, crawling effect in the distance there. That's kind of, uh, funny. Uh, you know, it's the way shadows are rendering, and there's, there's clearly some Zed fighting and other things involved in, uh, in the rendering engine. So, I wonder if maybe the, uh, the developers can figure out a way to improve that. Yeah, I wonder if turning off the uh, grass would, uh, you know, like the grass looks great, but I wonder if turning it off would make a big difference. Or turning it way down. Yeah, I think it might. I'm not sure. A graphics card doesn't seem like it's uh, going full tilt, so... Uh, question is, how's it being rendered? CPU or GPU or both? Well, obviously there's a GPU component, but I wonder how much of the uh, placing the grass is CPU. It actually looks kind of nice coming through the gap toward, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, New New York? Is it? No, it's, um, it's pork belly, right? It's a town. That's what it is. No, it was Metropolis, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Metropolis, I think. I forget. Yeah, I can see it would be a good idea to set up some uh, public transport between these towns here. Uh, I should be able to, without the natural town growth mod, I should be able to eliminate the uh, a large part of the traffic on here. Although I might need to wait a little bit further into the uh, um, into the uh, clock or the game date. Uh, I could always edit the date. I actually put the sandbox mod back in, uh, so. I could I can uh, actually uh, modify uh, things if it's too much of an issue and I may do that just to keep the map playable okay here's the uh, line out to the uh, the um, crude oil the oil well uh, and here we go we come in here and yeah there's clearly issues with shadow rendering that crawling up the uh, mountain effect is kind of fun. Um, oh, I I have a uh, piece of catenary there. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fun. Okay, well, uh, that uh, demonstrates that that is working. Let's uh, let's get this up and this and fix that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's uh, that's good. And here we've got 214. Um, we got a rate of 264. 
So I can put a uh, second uh, train on here, duplicate it, uh, get the line back up, and then I think I can knock a couple of uh, uh, a couple of the tankers off of here. Uh, let's make that just stay put. Um, modify. 475, I can knock a couple more off. Modify. Yeah, 423 seems like a good line rate. So having uh, having two trains running around, that should keep that line rate full. And then, I guess, uh, finding another oil well to uh, connect into that, like this one, I could bring this in and uh, up here. Um, I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, I'm going to take a couple minutes here and I'm going to uh, do some uh, deliveries. Um, right. All of that is right here. Uh, so I can put the I can put the delivery thing here. Yeah, put it here. And then I'll put one of these. I'm going to want two platforms initially. And I'm going to put it alongside like this. Yeah like that yep uh, I'm gonna configure it and I'm gonna put a I'm gonna make it drive through okay now I uh, grab some streets let's use actual streets here um, and bring this up this way like that that seems like it's reasonable and then this can come out this way right and we can come along here upgrade this yeah it's doing that uh, we'll get more traffic to Riverdale so it'll give New New York, uh, slightly a slight boost on private transport uh, growth, right? Um, right. Okay. Now uh, I need a, a what you who's it? No. One of these what you who's it's, which I can put in right about. here and if you're wondering why I'm putting it back a bit from the road it's so I can upgrade the uh, street in the future and also make sure that there's no traffic light there uh, okay now uh, we need to buy some uh, buy a cargo truck now what do we have we have the tarpaulin truck here, does 80, carries 17. The man, 19304. Yeah. Now this one carries... eighteen, seventeen. That's four times loading. You know what? We'll just grab that one. It's uh, less confusing. I'm going to put four on there. And uh, we'll make a new line. We should go here to here. Ah, it set it up the right way around. Nice. Okay. And this is going to be cargo truck. New New York. Fuel. Refinery to New New York, right? Uh, this will be New New York 
fuel refinery as well. Station names do not need to be unique, uh, which is kind of uh, useful. Okay. Um, right. Now, I need also a delivery in Metropolis. Yes, it is indeed Metropolis. Uh, I'm going to need to chuck it over here. Yep, that seems like the place to put it. This will be the Metropolis fuel drop-off. And this can be the new New York fuel drop-off. New New York fuel drop-off. Yep, okay. So I'm going to need to buy some more of those. Uh, this one. Well, that carries 21, and it is just fuel I'm bringing. Yeah, put eight of those on here. New line goes here and goes here. And it's doing, not doing the drive through thing. I do want it to do the drive through thing, so... But first, I'll label it Cargo Truck, New York Fuel Refinery to Metropolis. Okay. Now, I need to... Uh, now, to uh, force the routing, I just need to stick one of these here. And then I need to pick up the line and uh, manage it. And then do this. Yep, there we go. That uh, will get things going. And you know what? I'm going to modify this, do this, replace with the tank truck. Yeah, because that's cooler. The tank trucks just look cooler. Um, right. Okay. So that's going to uh, get that operating good. Uh, I won't worry about bringing fuel up to pork belly just yet. Uh, these two, when they grow, uh, what are, what's the potential? New York target 195, 197, so they've got pretty good targets. Uh, what's Emerald City's? Yeah, Emerald City's 197. Yeah, so these have decent uh, growth targets, so... Uh, they can get pretty big if I get public transport between them all operating. Uh, yeah, so, you know, that, there's that. Uh, I see I could bring food back up this line and deliver it to Emerald City as well, which might be worth doing with, uh, I don't know, the uh, one of these trains that comes up here divert it here, deliver food, and go back up to the farm. I could potentially just drop off the food here and truck it to Emerald City as well. Uh, I'm not going to do that on camera, though. Uh, it's not a particularly exciting project. Now, I think the next project, though, will be connecting up these four farms here with a uh, food processing plant, which I think is down this way. Uh, over here at uh, Castle Rock. So that will be able to use a fair chunk of this existing track and then bounce around through here into here. So um, I'll probably I'll probably do that as as the next project. Uh, now that I've built this, and I've got these tracks in the way, uh, so that, uh, oh, actually, yeah, because I'll be able to bring these two, bring this one and uh, this one, join them onto this line here, yeah, and uh, bring them up and bring the line around this way onto this line. And then these two can just join in here. Yeah, 
that uh, that should be a, a doable project. Uh, the other possibility is I bring these four up. Actually, no, these four would be the ones. Because then they can all come come in. Hmm. No, save those four. These four. Well, four of them, anyway. Uh, for sure. And, uh, you know, connect them down to one of the the other food processing plants. Now, when I made the map, I made sure that there were exactly enough uh, input industry input industries to supply each manufacturing industry. So there are four farms for each food processor. There's two oil wells for each oil refinery. There's uh, an oil refinery for each fuel refinery. There's an oil refinery for each plastics uh, 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 plant uh, manufacturing plant there's uh, you know all of that so there are enough of everything to supply everything uh, the towns obviously not but the industries there's enough of them so uh, it would be able to definitely uh... okay so we've got uh, fuel being delivered now um, okay, so off camera, I'll, I might connect the other uh, fuel or the other oil well to this, uh, which will come in through here. Uh, so that means that the two way track here actually makes sense. Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's not not uh, important for the moment uh, that that's going to be all for this time. We've got this part functioning so yeah i guess that's going to be all for this time uh so stay healthy uh you know don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much i gotta come up with something else to say but either way don't let the apocalypse get you down too much and uh, see you back next time